And here we go. Time for part two of two for SmackDown episode one. As we see here, Small Joe is on the promo backstage. Let's hear what he has to say. Well, okay, then, ladies and gentlemen, Small Joe seems to be issuing an open challenge, so to speak, to see who can beat him. Well, let's see who is going to accept this open challenge. Okay, then. Well, this is going to be a great match, then. Seems like Cesaro has accepted Small Joe's open challenge. Now, Small Joe is taunting the face of Cesaro. Cesaro didn't like that all that much. Now, here comes Cesaro. With a fury of strikes. The Swisserman is not playing games. And to think and to just think that you think that Small Joe would actually be the one to be striking first, but no. There comes Cesaro has him belly to belly over at least suplex on Small Joe and there was a shoulder block. Joe is dazed, gets DT'd. Small Joe the one who issued this open challenge, of course. But Zaro, he's just absolutely destroying Samoa Joe. Now, ladies and John, here comes the question, though. Is Samoa Joe that, you know, indestructible that he could easily defeat Cesaro, who is just a great talent, great former Ring of Honor talent, great wrestler, has great wrestling ability. That's why I meant by SmackDown having the better roster and the better wrestling ability. And as you see right there, Cesaro, Bridges, Suplex, to Samoa Joe and now a bow and arrow submission hold, but Joe's gonna get out of it. Has some German suplex and Cesaro goes back inside the ring off of that German suplex. German suplex. I had an accent when I said that. Um Joe's gonna miss super kick. He has Cesaro up now and Cesaro gonna counter with sidewalk slam one and only a one count. Joe with the super kick. A second super kick, and now ladies and gentlemen, Cesaro is reeling nails swanton type of maneuver. Has him up, trying to do a power drive, power bomb, whatever that was going to be. And Cesaro bit by by drop. The strength of Cesaro cannot be unmatched. See right there. Now multiple strikes straight to Samoa Joe. And now Cesaro, Irish rip to Samoa Joe, nails it. Neutralizer has him one, two, three. What? Ladies and gentlemen, Samoa Joe, the one who issued the open change. And well, I guess you could say he's going to put his money where his mouth is. Because Cesaro just defeated him in a very, very quick matchup here. Well, that's a way to set up for the main event as we get off the heels of that matchup. Time for your main event here tonight. Probably the biggest momentum matchup the whole night. Dolph Ziggler versus Kevin Owens. Like I said, SmackDown's not going to be like Raw or ECW of how we're going to crown at least one champion. And then just have, you know, champions be crowned on a regular episode of Raw or a regular episode of ECW. No, this is SmackDown. We got the better in-ring wrestling ability since we got the more better talent of wrestlers. Such as great wrestlers like Dolph Ziggler and Kevin Owens. Like Kota Bushi, like Seth Rollins, like Austin Aries. Even like Curtis Axel sometimes. We got the better wrestling tag. We got the Young Bucks as well. We got John Cena as well. Who those three should be making an appearance next episode. And that's right there. Ken Owens playing mind games there. Just kind of stole the commentary the, um, chair for me. But that's okay. That's okay. Kevin, opportunity Owens. But that's the right there's going to get drilled down. But off Sigler and her around. Sigler's not playing games. Don't ever count Sigler out, ladies and gentlemen. That's right there. Dolph Ziggler into a dragon sleeper. Now Owens still has the rope. Dolph Ziggler's going to have to try to maneuver him out of that. And let's see right there. Oh, Plunger thought I was going to do a hurt crime. But no, and not a rope break. Ziggler's going to have to do something about that. Now he is all, oh, and he gets caught by a small drop from Kevin Owens' super kick now. Another super kick, let's be honest. Kevin Owens learned this in his PWG days with him being assigned with the Young Bucks. So he obviously learned the super kick party. Blue Club style. And another super kick. Has him up. German suplex. Trying to do another one. Trying to bring the suplex C here, kind of. Lester's not going to be happy about that, but hey. 
It doesn't matter. Lesnar's not on SmackDown. I believe he's on Raw. And somehow a drop by Kevin Owens. Once again, nails down knee drop now, just like that. The tables have turned from Ziggler to having the upper hand on Owens to Owens having all the momentum in the world against Ziggler now. Ziggler can try to counter like her crown or plunger there. Owens is not going to let it happen as he does a bridge suplex. And another German suplex trying to wear down Dolph Ziggler. Has him up and see a power bomb. Close to a pop up power bomb. Or like some people like to call it the Pop Tart Power Bomb. I know I'm one of those people who likes to call it the Pop Tart Power Bomb. Cause it just sounds funny. Has him up trying to do a small drop off the ropes, but now I see Sigler gonna counter with the Gavrench Slam into a triangle hold, trying to make sure Owens does not get no air. Now this is gonna be helpful. If it does not make Owens tap out, it will make him lose his stamina. Make him lose lose some breathing room for a short few amount of seconds. Basically it'll make Owens have a difficult time of breathing so you know he could have more energy to face off against Sigler in this main event. Smart. Now SmackDown on their next pay-per-view, which has not been named yet, but we do have an idea. We got a whole schedule for the Raw, Pay-Views, East Day, and SmackDown. But whole SmackDown backstage employees. We all know the whole pay schedule for SmackDown. And it's going to be a good one. And not to mention, unlike Raw and East Day, we're going to crown our champions for the first time on the pay-per-view. Unlike where it's just going to be, you know... Championship title matches for a second time on the Raw and ECW pay per view. Pay per views, I should say. Second or close on top rope, nails down Owens. Owens gonna get back up with that. Irish whip gets him down. Samoan drop once more. Super kick. And another one right on the button of the jaw. And Bullfrog splash. Right onto Dolph Ziggler. Kevin Owens is on the roll here. But the officer could go back to get his momentum. It could happen in as easy as one second to be fair. As long as Sigler lands one move and another German su- suplex by Owens. As long as Sigler could at least land one move that's good enough to take down Owens. That would be good enough to give him momentum. And at least let's see another Bullfrog splash from KO. Kevin opportunity Owens. Double X hand off top of to back of the head of Sigler into a sleep hole. That is the technicality that Raw and ECW lacks. In most of their wrestlers. Sure, they may have a great technical wrestler in CM Punk and etc. For Raw. And for ECW, I don't even know. ECW, ECW's roster is just a mess. But they do have some greater talent like Finn Balor or Braun Strowman. But for SmackDown, we got the better wrestling ability. We got the better technical wrestling aspect. As we got Kevin Owens, we got Dolph Zer, we got Seth Rollins. Names that I have already named. Goss and We got great technical wrestlers. I see here, Kevin Owens. Irish whip. And I was just going to see him kick Sigler in his stomach. You can tell that hurts Sigler very much. I see right there. Sigler is reeling multiple kicks by Owens. He just doesn't care. He's just toying around with his food here. This could be it for Sigler. Super kick. Off the ropes. By KO. And now this is going to be a Steen-worthy night back for when Kevin Owens was caught. Kevin Steen and pop-up power bomb. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Owens has beat Dolph Ziggler in a great main event. Ziggler showed some very good fine ability there. But no, as he will not prevail, Kevin Owens, KO, Kevin Opportunity Owens will prevail. Anyway, that will be the end of episode one. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.